been freezing these couple of days. So these mushrooms aren't the best, <laughs> I think. It's been a little bit too cold. But since I haven't brought any food with me on this trip, I'm gonna take these and save them and see if we can eat them later on today. Putting these guys in here for now. And we'll see if we use them. I am not the biggest fan of mushrooms. I don't know a lot about mushrooms. And I don't really like the taste of it either. Since we brought nothing on this trip, I think it's best that we save them in case we don't catch any fish. Yep. It's cold. I'm getting tired. I've been hiking for a long time to get out here now. And we still have a long way to go until we reach the water. I'm, I'm not really hiking any trails. I'm just going like really through the woods, finding some really, really small trails. I think it's like animal trails, but I can still watch the map on my phone. So I know we're going the right way. Even though it's really cold outside, I'm getting kind of sweaty and uh, getting sweaty I mean, if you know, you know, if you get sweaty when it's below freezing, that's not a good idea. Some coffee would be nice right now. But I don't even have that. I have one bottle of water with me. This is the water that I have. When this is finished, we have to get some new. We have to get some more. This is like... My absolute least favorite part of the year to be out. Like spring is awesome because everything is starting to bloom, it's starting to get warmer, so that's awesome. Summer is awesome because it's summer, I don't even have to explain that. Then when autumn comes, it's really, really nice at first when everything's starting to fall. It's these beautiful colors outside. But when we get to this point that is like right between autumn and winter, I mean, this is autumn, but you know. When all of the beautiful autumn colors have disappeared and we haven't really got the snow yet. It's just cold and wet and everything looks boring. So we'll have to find a way to really enjoy this. All of this here is really wet. So we're gonna keep this in my pocket. So maybe they will dry up a little bit in there. We can use them to start our fire later on. Because this is like paper thin. at the lake now where we're gonna be fishing but before we actually go there I'm gonna set up my camp here I found a nice little spot here that is kind of flat so I'm gonna set up my tent here I'm gonna drop off all of my stuff and then we're gonna head to the lake because I'm getting really really tired to carry all of this stuff and since I found such a good place here we're gonna do that now Also, I don't know if you can see how sweaty I am. You probably can't see, or I, don't, I have no idea. But I am, <laughs> I am so sweaty. Oh. 
and it's cold. I love how easy this is to set up. You literally just stick those poles in and then you have a tent. Then you just throw this over. And now obviously you can stick it to the ground as well if you want to. Or I mean you should. But the nice thing is when you have it like this, it's really easy to just pick up and move around as well. So I can like pick it up and move it around and try some different spots to see what's good. So we're switching to this, which is fully dry. Oh, that feels good. I think I kind of underestimated how far it actually was to get out here. I've been hiking for a long time and it's... I'm running out of time to fish. I'm not gonna have as much time as I thought to catch a fish now. It makes me a little bit nervous. Also, I've been walking 12,000 steps right now. 12,000 steps is not a lot, but like if you're walking in the city or something, but walking out here with a heavy backpack in the woods, like without trails and stuff, 12,000 steps is a lot. I think also I underestimated how, how fast I was gonna become hungry. I woke up this morning, ate some breakfast, and then I just went out. And it was not the best breakfast either. It was two sandwiches and three eggs. That's what I'm on right now. I didn't think I was gonna become hungry so quickly. It's best for me that I get out of here and try to catch a fish. What am I actually gonna do without a fish? I found it. I finally found a spot where I can actually fish. I've been hiking for a long time now again. Just trying to find somewhere around this lake where you can actually get to the shore. There's just so much shit in the way so you can't actually get to the shore on any places. But now finally I have a spot. Oh my god. Let there be some fish. Something took it for like half a second. But when I tried to hook it, it got loose. God damn it, dude. That was dinner. One thing that worries me a little bit is I can't see any activity. It's completely dead. So they are probably just chilling at the bottom. If I was a vegan, that would have been food.
Yes. Oh my god, we have something. Oh my god, we actually have something. Oh my god, please, please. Oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. Holy shit, what a perch. Oh my god, what a perch. Oh my god, I cannot believe that. Holy shit. Oh my god. Holy shit. What a f perch. Oh my god, what a perch. Look at the size of that thing. Oh my god. Oh, we have dinner. Oh, oh, oh. oh the adrenaline I have right now is insane. Ow. Sorry. That couldn't be more perfect. It's just the perfect size. God. Come on. Oh. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Look at that thing. Oh, that's that's holy shit. I've been fishing for 10 minutes, literally like 10 minutes. We're keeping that guy, we're eating this guy. Just for fun trying to catch another one. This is what I used. Just a normal jig and I just slowly, slowly like dragged it across the bottom. Let's do the same again. That is one of the most perfect perches I have ever gotten. I was not optimistic at all when I got out here. Like when I started to fish, you know when you just have a feeling that you're not gonna catch anything? Like I could just feel it? I guess I was wrong. I, I had a feeling like I was probably gonna catch a pike. I just felt if I'm gonna catch something, I'm gonna catch a pike. But I really wanted a big perch like that to eat. So somehow, somehow we actually did it. I'm wondering, wondering if I should cut the fish now. When I get to camp, I won't have any water to like clean it with. Let's cut it now. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm so bad at this. I'm wasting so much meat. I mean, this is the best piece that I got from that fish. I don't even want to show you the other piece, it's fucking embarrassing. Obviously I have more than this, but I just have very small pieces <laughs> that I managed to get from it. But it sucks, like I haven't done this a lot, I'm not good at this. <laughs> Still learning. It just sucks to feel that you're wasting so much food. We're gonna try to fish some more, try to catch another one. Let's hope I can do that because that didn't turn out. That didn't turn out good. Uh, I hope to get more food out of that fish, but it's my own fault. I messed up. I haven't cut up a lot of fish. I haven't cooked a lot of fish myself. So I'm still learning and uh, it just sucks that I have to waste meat to learn. You know, it sucks that I animal actually has to die for me to learn and I'm wasting their flesh but it is what it is it's what I have to do to get better at this I felt like I learned from that at least I felt like I know what I did wrong you know so that the next time I can do it a little bit better because it was mostly the first side that I cut that turned out absolutely shit so I know now how to do it better so hopefully the next fish I'll get more meat from.
No way. I got a bike. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's awesome. We're not keeping this guy though. This guy gets to live. He's gone. Damn it, dude. I wanted an I wanted another perch. Not a pike. If it would have been a perch, I would have cooked him as well. I need to practice my skills. But not on a pike. Not today. This will be the last cast. <clears throat> we have sunlight for about one more hour. And I have a pretty long way back to camp actually. I had to hike a bit. I had to hike a little bit too long to get to this spot. And I don't want to hike back when it's dark. Unfortunately we can't catch another one. If we're not lucky on this last cast. I would have loved to practice my skills on another fish and have some more have some more food. Because the food that we have is definitely not enough for me to feel full. Oh my god, there was a fish. I saw a fish literally chasing it. As soon as I pulled it out of the water, I saw the fish go shoo. Oh my god. We have to cast some more. Oh my god. If, if I would have had it in the water for like one more second. I didn't really see what it was though. It was just about to grab it. I think it was a pike, but I didn't really see it. Close to the shore again. Oh, it did, it did. No! Oh my god, I lost it. No! Dude, that felt like the perch. That felt that felt like when the perch was fighting earlier. Let's just cast her close and just try to get it. Come on. I got it. I got it. Fuck, it's another pike. Dude, this is a bigger one. Whoa, dude, this guy is kind of nice. Look at this guy. <laughs> we are lucky today. Three fish is caught. Fortunately, just one perch. Let's release this guy. time to head back to camp with almost no food. I mean I could have taken one of those pikes but I don't know. The goal for me today was to catch perch and I did that. So let's be happy with that. 
All right, let's get back to camp. <sighs> Finally back. I want a fire. So I'm getting cold. Chopper gunner inbound. Everything is just so rotten. Not really finding any good trees. Everything is still so wet. Oh my god. Oh, we're fine. Burn. I know you're wet, but please burn.
unfortunately I don't have any oil or any butter. I only have salt and pepper for this. <laughs> I really should have thought this through. I don't know about this. There really should be more food here from that fish, but this is the best I could do. There's no bones in it at least. I managed to get rid of those. Let's just do all the mushrooms. They are edible. Let's just say that they're edible. Doesn't this look like a little bit of a good meal at least? It smells really good. I mean, I'm starving at this point, so I guess anything would smell good. My legs are kind of cold because when I was walking in all of this high grass to get over here, it was very wet. So my pants are very wet. So my legs are cold. But I've managed to keep my feet warm for the entire day at least. They are still, like my socks are still fully dry. And that is weird because I am always a master of getting my feet wet. Some fish. <coughs> oh, it's hot. Mm. Tastes good though. The perch tastes good. Fuck, I kind of don't want to try the mushrooms. That wasn't... Th that was actually not bad. I don't know why, but I expected that to be so bad. But it wasn't. Alright. Fish tastes really good. The mushroom's not as good, but it's also not bad. Mm. I wish I had some bread. Some bread to this fish would be so nice. Nice. Okay, not completely bone free, but I think I did a pretty good job with the fish, considering I almost never do this. I need to do this more to practice, because it's fun. I hear you. I'm wasting. Food is finished. It's getting really dark now and it's not really anything to do when it's dark, so I'm just gonna hit the tent. Maybe watch some YouTube, listen to some podcasts until I can fall asleep. 
because there are definitely a couple of hours until I can sleep. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. That was a bad night. I didn't sleep good at all. I don't really know what was wrong. I wasn't really uncomfortable. I was laying very comfortable. It wasn't really that cold. But I just, I just couldn't sleep. Just falling asleep for a short amount of times, just waking up, rolling around, I don't know. Bad night, bad night. So right now, I think the best thing I can do is just start to fish right away because I have a lot more time to fish today than I had yesterday. So hopefully we can be just as lucky today as we were yesterday. That would make me really happy. It feels cold now here in the morning. I checked and the temperature today is actually a bit higher. So it's a bit warmer today, but it's supposed to be a little bit windy today. So it's probably gonna feel colder today. Because yesterday was perfect. Yesterday was no wind at all. It was so nice to be out fishing at the lake because the water was just completely still. I loved it. I should have brought coffee with me, man. Is that cheating? If you're doing a catch and cook, like bringing no food, is coffee cheating? I feel like coffee should be allowed. I don't know. We're going fishing. Straight away. All right, let's go. Ooh. So I'm at the exact same spot as yesterday. I'm gonna try the exact same bait. And we're gonna see if we were just lucky yesterday or if this is the perfect spot and the perfect bait. But we're also gonna move on to some other spots down this trail. Just wanted to come here and try it out. Try to use something a little bit bigger, bigger and heavier because I want to cast further out. Because I felt like when I caught that perch yesterday, I, when I hooked it, it was pretty far out. So maybe they're chilling a little bit further out. Maybe it's a bit deeper, further out. And they're going to the deeper water now that it's cold. So. Let's hope this works. There we go. That's a bit further. And now I always just let it sink to the bottom. And then I just slowly reel in. I do some of this. And I wait. And I reel. And I just keep going like this. So I don't do like so many, many throws. I just do slow throws. That has usually worked the best for me when I always when I'm fishing. Right now that we're coming in close, I'm just gonna reel it in because I wanna try to fish further out. Oh my god, why did I get so scared? Do 
there was something huge after it. It was enormous. It was huge. Oh my God. Dude, that's a huge pike. Dude, this would be the biggest one I've ever caught. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. I probably spooked it now. It was huge! The first time I saw it, I got so scared! <laughs> oh my god! Come on! Let's try to get it. It's real hair close. Dude, that would have been the biggest fish I've ever caught if I got... If I got. Oh my god, I have no idea if you could see anything of that fish. I probably spooked it now. Oh my god, it was so big. I wish you guys saw something of that, I have no idea, but... I can definitely say it was more than double the size, more than double the size of the pikes yesterday. Alright. Oh, I'm kind of mad about that. Why are you gone now? Come back. He's there. He's right there. Come on. You know you want it. Come on. He was right there again. Come on, man. You want it. He's here. He's so close. He's right here. That's a mean pike. He feels evil, man. I don't even know why I'm chasing him though. I want to catch perch. <laughs> We've almost had a gigantic pike, but we haven't caught anything yet. Yesterday when I was fishing, when I had been out for this long yesterday, I had already caught the perch and one of the pikes. Doing a little bit slower today, but. I mean, that enormous pike, he's not for eating. If I catch him, he's just going back, but I would love to catch him. He was so big. I was just gonna try this spot really quick and then move on to another one, but I kind of don't want to leave now after that. All right, new spot. It's a lot more cold. It's a lot colder today, not by temperature, but because of the wind. It made a big difference. At this point I've spent like two and a half hours fishing today and one and a half hour 
of hiking. The worst thing right now is my hands. I have these gloves, but man, my hands are cold. I got my hopes up when I saw that huge pike. I really thought that we were getting something. these gloves up they are a little bit wet I feel like my hands are back. I've been relaxing at the campfire for like an hour. These days actually go by pretty quick. I mean, I have like only one hour left of sunlight now. And I haven't caught a fish. And honestly, I don't think I will. I've actually always have had bad fishing days when it's windy outside. I don't know what it is. Oh. Oh. Honestly, I'm not that hungry. It's not that. It's... Honestly, mostly the wind that is just so annoying right now. The wind makes everything just so... Just so not nice. <laughs> We're gonna keep fishing for a little bit, but... In like an hour, we will need to head back to camp. I kind of look forward to going to the camp, honestly, even if it's without food. Because camp is a lot more protected from wind.
I have been defeated by nature, guys. There is no fish. I have already stayed out for way too long. I should have started to head back a while ago. I don't even. I don't think I'm gonna make it back to camp before it gets dark. <laughs> I've been here for too long now trying to attack, catch a fish. I am actually not that hungry. That is. I mean, it's surprising to myself that I am not really that hungry. I am hungry, but it's not that bad. I've eaten like half a fish and some mushrooms for 24 hours, but so I should be so, so hungry, but I am actually not. But we will see how we're able to sleep tonight. Oh. This was a fail. I mean, it's not a total fail because we did catch some fish and we cooked it and we ate it. But I was hoping for something today as well. I am gonna pack my stuff down now and uh, hike back because it's getting dark and it's probably gonna be almost pitch black when I get back. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Another day is finished here. It's been a tough day today with not a lot of energy, so yeah. I will... guess I don't really have anything more to say now. I will just see you guys tomorrow. I slept a lot better today. A lot better than the last night. I don't know why, I don't know what the difference was because it wasn't really colder or warmer any night. I wasn't like feeling uncomfortable or anything but I just slept so much better tonight than I did last night. It's been a great trip but I'm excited to go home. Alright guys, I'm all packed up, ready to start hiking back home. It's been a great trip, it's been a long trip for me. This is the first time on this channel I'm doing a trip that is more than one night, so... Yeah, it's kind of hard for me in my life right now to put together a trip like this, to be away for multiple nights like this, so I really put in the time to, to make this. Uh, so I really really hope you guys enjoy this. If there's one video I want you to really enjoy it's this one <laughs> I hope you guys had a good time watching this because I had a really good time making this so Yeah, I'll see you in the next one